we're also seeing something right now that um, is frankly confusing. We're having some of the same problems we had back in March, a shortage of testing, a shortage of personal protective equipment, a shortage of ICU beds. There's a concern in some places that there's a shortage of medical staff. How are we in this situation again? Well, I think uh, the problem is that the increasing numbers are driving both testing and PPE requirements. If our numbers had continued to go down, if we if the curve had continued to fall, we were getting into a better place. Less people needed to be tested. Less doctors and nurses needed to be uh, in crisis mode. But now with rising numbers, we're seeing a, a pinch again in many places in the country in both testing and PPE. And the other problem is that there, is, there really isn't any kind of national dashboard that the public can see where we can see what the PPE levels are around the country, where we can see what diagnostic testing needs. We need more visibility into the supply chain and how fast masks are being made, how fast N95s are being produced. And that's something that I think the federal government could do. Hello, YouTubers. If you're watching this, it means you've checked out our channel. So thank you. Now do me a favor. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there. Click on any of the videos to watch the latest interviews and highlights from MTP Daily and MSNBC. You can get more Meet the Press content every morning in the First Read newsletter. If you're tired of content that you don't know anything about where it came from, you don't have to have that problem with us. NBC News, MSNBC, MTP, and the Meet the Press mindset right here for you on YouTube. Subscribe now.